Now, while Korea's per capita GDP has grown steadily over the years, the Park Geun-hye administration won't be satisfied until the number hits the $40,000 mark. And it wants to do that by the year 2017. But our Park Ji-won tells us that goal is extremely ambitious and it won't come easy. One of the key goals set by the Park Geun-hye administration is achieving a per capita GDP of over 40,000 U.S. dollars by the end of her term in 2017. There's a long way to go as last year, the figure came in at about $24,000. So what challenges are likely to face the Korean economy as it aims for the $30,000 and $40,000 milestones? Experts say the first one is expanding domestic demand. As Korea's export-driven economic growth has somewhat reached its limit, the expansion of domestic demand will be the key to achieving a per capita GDP of more than $40,000. It's important to have a virtuous cycle of creating new markets in the leisure, culture and welfare sectors that will bring about further employment and output expansion. Experts point out those sectors have ample room to grow in the Korean economy. The recently released OECD Better Life Index shows Korean people work over 2,000 hours a year, far higher than the OECD average of some 1,700 hours. And the sectors related to achieving a better work-life balance have potential to grow. Increasing domestic demand in the sectors could also help address the nation's widening income gap. According to the latest OECD figures, people in Korea's top 20 percent income bracket were earning nearly six times as much as the bottom 20 percent last year, which hinders healthy growth and domestic consumption. While the focus has been on bumping up the nominal per capita GDP, experts say it ultimately doesn't mean that much. The key, they say, is developing an economy that achieves real robust growth. For example, it took the U.S. 17 years to jump from a per capita income of $20,000 to $40,000, and it took Japan eight years. The achievement was due mainly to the appreciation of yen rather than from real growth, which made the Japanese economy less competitive in export markets and ultimately led to an economic slowdown. To avoid such risks, Experts stress it's important to institute appropriate measures to induce real growth in the lesser developed areas of the economy. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.